Maury Robinson and Clemson a size advantage on Air Force. Clemson winning the opening tip. First ever meeting between the Tigers and the Service Academy based in Colorado Springs. And right away, it's Air Force with some D, but it'll be back over to the Tigers. Taylor Britt, a Columbia, South Carolina native, went for the steal. Jim, give us the keys to the game. Well, without a doubt, uh, Air Force has to shoot uh, very well to be on the three-point arc. Uh, and then Clemson, with their size advantage, has to dominate the paint on both the boards and by getting the ball down low like they tried to do right there. Elmore losing the handle. Jada McNabb coming away with it. Air Force coming into this contest averaging about 64 points a game. They're on a three-game winning streak. They won over the weekend at home against Weber State and opening up the scoring, Keely O'Halloran, one of the freshmen for the Falcons, originally from Oregon. Tigers starting five in addition to Robinson. Clemson looking to get more scoring out of Ruby Whitehorn, the sophomore. Day Harris has been a very nice addition from Pitt as she drives the lane, ball knocked away, and back over to the Falcons. Not a good start for the Tigers. Two turnovers and two possessions. And, uh, of course, you saw Air Force with their lack of size uh, in their 2-2-1 two, two, three-quarter court press trying to generate some turnovers. Madison Smith on the far left. We noted her in the open. She's second on the team behind Perry in scoring at just over 14 points a game. Air Force one and one on the road this year. Shot clock under 10. Tigers pressuring in the half court. Keely O'Halloran, best three-point shooter on this Air Force team at 33%. That's an inside-out pass right there. It's so much easier to shoot that three when the ball comes from the inside. That's a weapon that they're hoping they can add to their arsenal here as they get close to Mountain West play, whether you swish it or use the glass. Smith striking from downtown. She's 29%, but Air Force just 27% beyond the arc as a team. But they force the turnover. Another try from the outside. Not going to go down for Dasha McMillan. Elmore coming away with it for Clemson. Michaela Elmore is the leading rebounder for this Clemson team, and they need those rebounds today. A lob for Robinson, but too strong, and the Tigers give it up once more. That's been an issue so far. Four of them in the early going, and we're less than two minutes into our opening quarter. Timeout is called. Tigers will talk it over here in Little John. All right, I'll see you after class. All right, bye. 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 The holidays on Dale's farm weren't very festive. Until he saved big on a Bluetooth speaker with Amazon's last minute deals. And now. Mamacita. Ooh. ¿Dónde está Santa? That llama is part dancer, part prince. Shop last minute deals now at Amazon. ahí por si le pasa algo a tu auto en este día especial. Mamá, para eso tengo State Farm. Es que es peligroso manejar en carretera. Si pasa algo, le mando un texto a mi agente. Tranquilos. State Farm estará ahí las 24 horas si los necesito. 24 horas. Ay, ay. Ay, tan linda como siempre. Ay, qué bien, 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 hijita. Pasa, pasa. Amor, como un buen vecino, State Farm está ahí. Llama para obtener una cotización hoy. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, buddies, get that box. Almost showtime, I know. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Come on, let's go. Hurry, right, everyone. Let's go. There he is, buddies. Get him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that box is for everybody. <laughs> There's a little McNugget in everyone. That's true. Coming to you from Frost Way with a buddy and a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. Ba -ba -ba -ba. When my patients experience very dry skin, I recommend La Roche-Posay Lipicar Body Cream. One application a day keeps very dry skin away. La Roche-Posay Lipicar Body Cream provides 48-hour hydration and 
helps repair the skin barrier. Suitable for ages two weeks to 100 years old. La Roche-Posay, recommended by 90,000 dermatologists worldwide. Early 45 seasons as a women's basketball head coach, her ninth at the Air Force Academy. She's had quite the journey, including one year back in the 90s at Florida State, where she won against Jim Davis and the Clemson Tigers a couple of games. Chris, very likable coach. She was only at Florida State one year, uh, but that was because she had the opportunity to go back to her home school at Southern California. Amari Robinson doing what her coach needs, playing some defense, turns it into the first points of the game for the Clemson team. If you're keeping score at home, Jim Davis 2-0 against Chris Gobrecht in those two meetings between the Tigers and the Seminoles. Gobrecht's team trying to get an eighth win on the year. Or from their Colorado Springs home. Trying to be patient offensively, and as we noted, looking to pick it up from beyond the earth. With the undersized team in their Mountain West Conference and beyond, they've got to be able to hit the three better than the 27% they had coming in. The, the uh, statistic that jumps out at me about this Air Force team is they only turn it over nine times a game. And uh, so they're not going to beat themselves. You've got to beat them. Falcons force more than 21 turnovers a contest. And the Tigers give it up for a fifth time so far in this opening quarter. Not a good start with the turnovers for the Tigers. On the drive, Smith knocked out of bounds. Tigers head coach Amanda Butler, season number six at the helm. Clemson team that won 19 times a year ago and trying to get a seventh victory, of course, already with an ACC win under their belt. Another try by O'Halloran, not that time. Early on, Falcons are two of five beyond the arc. Robinson showing her versatility. Fifth year performer for this Clemson team. And Owen Yang on the floor. Harris, another drive to the bucket. That time, able to finish. Air Force's defense had Clemson bigs playing all the way out to the half court there, putting pressure on them, but uh, Harris broke them down with a dribble drive. Smith, a junior. Feed inside. Good idea by Britt. On her way up, McNabb has it knocked away. Look at Ruby Whitehorn getting in there, Jim. Good job dropping down level with the ball by Ruby there and getting the block. A little slow in the close out to the corner there uh, by Anno Inyang, and Ruby covered very well for her. Perry with the ball. 15 a game for her. Britt missing badly. A first attempt from long range. Didn't go down, and that one also a miss. 0 for 2 back in her home state is Taylor Britt. In fact, this game was set up as a homecoming game for the Spring Valley High alum in Columbia. Quick move nice. for the Tigers. Nice find. And Whitehorn able to finish on the feed from Day Harris. 6-0 run for Clemson. Not only do we need more defense from Clemson, but we need scoring from somebody beside Amari Robinson. And uh, Ruby Whitehorn's able to give them that scoring. Shot clock coming up on 10. Britt setting it up. Bad pass in the direction of Perry. Scramble. And eventually coming away with it, Cluse. Robinson. Whitehorn this year from beyond the arc has not been good at that time. She gives it up. That's why she tried to force a two. Another turnover on this end. And the foul will go against Britt. So Amari Robinson, we told you about the 35-point game the other day. She's the one that Clemson's going to turn to, and lo and behold, she gets the first points of the game. No doubt. Uh, defense creating offense there, and uh, Amari taking the length of the floor off the steal. Great anticipation on the cross-court pass. Robinson so impressive. Unfortunately for her, the 35 points coming in a losing effort. Second time this season, a career high for her has come in a loss, but her effort, and this is impressive, even in a loss, what she was able to do besides the points, the efficiency, the rebounds, got her ACC Player of the Week. This one this season for the Tigers. So congratulations to Amari Robinson with that honor. 
And she played offensively. She played about as complete a game as I've seen her play, or any player uh, here of late. Smith forcing the loose ball, and the arrow will give it back to the Falcons. Tigers issues with possession so far. Yeah, we've got to take ten care. turnovers here in the opening five minutes. Yeah, got to take care of that basketball. Seven turnovers. Hmm. Air Force, fortunately, hasn't been able to convert those into points, but uh, Jordan Devon did a nice job breaking the pressure. Runner wound goes, and so now a drought after the Falcons jumped out to a 6-0 advantage. Inyang unable to convert Smith. Scrappy defense. Smith, that glue player for this Falcons team. Honorable mention all Mountain West a year ago, looking inside as the shot clock closes in on 10. That's Perry out high, shot clock at five. Alexis Cortez, the freshman with the pull up. Inside, McMillan taking away Robinson. Air Force now two of 10 from the field. Danielle Roush checked in moments ago. And we've got a foul away from the ball. Milani Perry caught herself in a mismatch and she fouls Robinson. Robinson, such good scrappy work and came into the game with 10 steals on the year, adding to that total. Yeah, they turned the ball right into her and she just took it away from her. Great job, good hands. Matty Ott, out high, Amani Freeman. And Ott will be called for the travel. Turnover number nine so far. Can't beat yourself. I'm, uh, I'm impressed with this scrappy defense by Air Force now. They, they get up in your face. They give up about 65 a game. Trouble is they score just under 64 a contest. Smith. On the wing, Cortez looks inside McMillan. Cortez knocked away. Elmore comes up with it for the Tigers. Roush, good court awareness. Whitehorn told you it's been an issue beyond the arc, so she'll try to drive when she can. Roush will try a three. Looks like Perry might have gotten a fingertip on it. Three to go in the opening quarter. Perry, the pull-up. And Roush coming away with the rebound. So nice. Amani Perry finding the lid on, just like her teammates. They're 2 of 11 from the floor. Lob underneath, knocked away. And the arrow will keep it on the Clemson end. Good aggressiveness by Freeman there, creating that loose ball, uh, because it was definitely an interception if she hadn't gone after it aggressively. Michaela Elmore, big week. Graduation, only Tiger basketball player on the men's or the women's side who will graduate this week. She'll flip the tassel on Thursday, communication major. Look at the GPA. Add that in with a reverse number and rebound, 7.3. So some good numbers, <laughs> a lot of categories. Very observant. You and I had a 3.7, didn't we, Pete? I tried. I had a 2.0 and you had a 1.7. So playing on the court a on a uh, Tuesday and little John is Elmore who almost came away with that loose ball and she'll be walking the stage coming up on Thursday in little John Coliseum. Congratulations. Big day for Michaela Elmore and I know all of her family very excited for that and she comes away with a steal almost on cue keeping the spotlight 14th of the season for the junior out of Fostoria, Ohio. Roush tries again from long range. Her fourth made three as a Clemson Tiger, and it's the first lead for the home team. Tigers up by three with about two to go in the opening quarter. Looking to answer Smith, no. Scrapping for the rebound. Coming away with it, Maddie Kluse. Tigers will push, to push tempo. Elmore tries from outside. Rattles that one in. 
Elmore a 26% shooter beyond the arc. Tigers heating up after their slow start. Now two of three beyond the arc. Last touch by Clemson, so Air Force will keep in their end. Elmore got a steal, and then she gets the assist and takes part in the scoring as well. Yep, without a doubt. That's a great job right there on the extra pass for the three, and then Clues penetrates, creates the pass to Elmore for the three, and she had those feet set that time. She uh, has a bad habit of having happy feet. I've got to tell you this numbers thing. She has a 3.7 grade point average. I just noticed she's averaging 3.7 a game, so she's <laughs> right now well ahead of the pace to get beyond that. And the 7.3 rebounds a game. Shot clock at five. Air Force in a scoring drought. Tigers on a 12-0 run. Not going to be broken by O'Halloran. Good offensive rebound, Smith. They'll Clemson reset. Clemson playing that 2-3 zone. Sometimes it's hard to rebound out of that zone. It won't go for Perry. It'll stay in the Air Force end. They'll be in that 2-3 out of the baseline. Sometimes they trap when the ball's passed to the wing. Let's see if they do right here. Smith out of the state of Washington. Held ball. Arrow for Air Force with 13 on the shot clock. Holler and the freshman, they work it on the perimeter. Smith, that one comes down to Robinson. Cluse goes behind the back. And now Harris will reset. Looking for Robinson, left it a little bit wide. She's been getting the Falcons' attention defensively, as you would understand. That time, Smith doing a good job not letting her go after that pass. Yeah, the smaller Air Force uh, post players are fronting the post, a total front, uh, which is a very difficult pass to make. That lob pass is the most difficult pass in basketball if you have pressure at the point of the ball. Huge three for Keeley O'Halloran. She had 15 points in their win against Weber State on Saturday. Ends the scoring drought and the Tigers run. Falcons back within three. Elmore hung up. And a violation. Keeley O'Halloran out of Lake Oswego, Oregon. Good rhythm on that jump shot right there with the quick catch and release. She was a good high school scorer. Of course, the Air Force Academy has to do it from the ground up. They don't take transfers. They no extra Kobe the US. Coach said. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Five seconds to go. Smith hung up. O'Halloran to the corner, and they won't get the shot off in time. Wouldn't have gone anyway for Milani Perry. Scoring drought after Air Force jumped out to the 6 nothing advantage. Yeah, they made the first two shots, Pete. Two threes. Elmore Robinson defended by O'Halloran. Robinson working inside, tried to find the cutter on the baseline, Kloos, but a three-second violation is the call. And the Tigers' turnovers continue to mount. That's 13 in less than 13 minutes of play. Taylor Britt, we told you this is a homecoming game for her. That's why they scheduled it. Number five, the Columbia native. Perry giving it away, and now O'Halloran gets it back near the paw. She'll pull up for a long two. They're going to need that. Hits him at 39% from the field. We told you she's 33% beyond the arc. She has eight of their 11 points. One of the best ways to attack a zone is to screen it. They had a great screen right there by Dr. McMillan to create that shot. Harris able to regain, but then the travel. The three second violation moments ago, was it on Robinson? Was it on someone else? It had to be on Robinson. Be She's on the Robinson. only one in there. I, I, I wasn't sure if someone else yeah. had entered the lane before she got the entry pass. Yes, it does, but I don't think 
I don't think she came out of the lane. I thought she had one foot out of the lane. In terms of a give reset her a new of the call count. on the count, and yep. she wasn't fully out of the lane, apparently. Tigers, though, using the defense to get the ball back. So they've been pressuring Air Force. Falcons closing in on 10 turnovers in this opening half of play. Now, this is not characteristic of Air Force turning it over because, they, as I said, they only average nine a game. Robinson going over McMillan. Mari Robinson, four points. Has a 35 against Georgia State earlier, a 29-point effort against Tulsa. And it's in an event away from Little John. Strong drive to the bucket by McNabb. Nothing doing. Cluse. Player that got off to a good start scoring-wise for Clemson had just two on Saturday. Robinson can finish down low. I believe Coach Butler and the staff have emphasized defense because they certainly are closing out a little better on that three-point line than they did Saturday. Hesitation. Perry, now she'll force it over Kramer. Another rebound for Amari Robinson. Her third in the game. Kramer on the other end. The cutter, Robinson. Nice Classic finish. Cut. Nice cut and a nice fine build on Kenji Kramer. Kramer's been a solid addition to this Clemson team. And of course, has really added a lot beyond the arc for Amanda Butler on the offensive end. O'Halloran, no. Cluse simply taking away the rebound from the five foot, seven inch Perry. Cluse, head of steam, the dish. And Robinson will head of the line. Unselfish play by Maddie Clues right there. She takes the ball to the basket. Defender takes away the passing lane. Really nice passing on that previous Robinson bucket. Really good cut there. Amari using the left hand very well as well. Tiger leader from the free throw line this season at 80%. Came in it. Nearly 19 points a game, but just six in the ACC scoring gives you an idea of some of the firepower around the conference so far. You are so right. Tiger team averaging over 75 points a contest. They just have to get better on the defensive end. They're playing that 2-3 zone exclusively here this afternoon, but they've got to get better defensively and rebounding. Tigers with their biggest lead so far at seven. They fell behind six nothing. Then went on a 12-0 run in the opening quarter. O'Halloran tried to force it inside, but wide of Emily Adams, who just checked in. Her first game action of the year. Close end to end. Very good play. We used to tell our players with the basketball in their hands, you go till somebody stops you. Whitehorn almost came away with it. Close. And the Ball will go back over to Air Force. They'll get Madison Smith on the personal foul. Maddie Cluse with a head of steam. Take the bottle. Somebody stops you. Two on one. You driving lane. Nobody's in the driving lane. You take it to the basket. Who's the Miami of Ohio transfer? And that big debut game against Winthrop. And scored a bunch in double figures a year ago for the Red Hawks. She had nearly a dozen games of 10 points or more. Elmore feeling it from the outside. Starting the graduation party a little bit early here in Little John Coliseum. Another three for her. That was a good job penetrating and kicking by Nia Valentine. Adams inside. She's their best big. Had missed action over their first 11 games as her first bucket of the season. Makes it a 10 point contest. Adams defending clues, who blows right by her. Robinson tried to go back up. It'll stay in the Tigers' end. That's what Amari does so very well. She positions herself for those offensive rebounds. Emily Adams, her coach, says she's the most physical player she has, as well as being her best in the post. Well, they need some physicality in there with the way uh, Clemson's getting the ball inside now. So use that body. Cut the cutters what those big girls have to do. Comes into Elmore. Naya Valentine, one of four with a 1,000 points in her career on this Clemson roster. Whitehorn will try from the outside. Offensive rebound. 
Coming down to Freeman. Valentine can't get it to go. Whitehorn off the deflection, looks for the assist, and Freeman obliges. That was a great job on the offensive boards by the Tigers there. Uh, Michaela Elmore, all you got to do on the offensive end, just keep it alive, give your teammates a chance. Cortez out high for Smith. Driving on Whitehorn, goes under. Boy, nice move. Madison Smith, honorable mention all Mountain West Conference a year ago. Back to a 10 point game. And nearly the steal by Adams, Whitehorn. And she'll be hung up. And the Falcons will get the ball. That's that physicality by Adams right there you were talking about, Pete. She did a great job using her body getting inside there. Getting a hand on that pass. Tigers know that they've got the size advantage and close to the basket, that should be a dominant area for them. Now that's a real good job of Elmore there and that's a great finish by Freeman off the pass there by Whitehorn. Clemson coming in though, just 2.1 in rebound margin, better than the opponent, way down there in the ACC and that's an area not only with defense, which has been a total stress point over the past couple of days for Amanda Butler, but rebounding better, she's emphasizing that. Offensive glass, though, for the Falcons. Good job by McNabb. Jordan. Boy, Jordan McNabb turned that into something special for the Falcons. Yeah, that was going good. the other way. Instead, they pull within eight. Good finish. Whitehorn, little step through. Couldn't get it to go. Nice move by Ruby Whitehorn. It'll go back over to Air Force. Tigers have an eight-point lead on the Air Force Academy. Ruby Whitehorn and company seeking win number seven. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, buddies, get that box. Almost showtime, my lord. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Come on, let's go. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. There he is, buddies. Get him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that box is for everybody. Oh. Coming to you from Frost Way, with a buddy and a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. ahí por si le pasa algo a tu auto en este día especial. Mamá, para eso tengo State Farm. Es que es peligroso manejar en carretera. Si pasa algo, le mando un texto a mi agente. Tranquilos. State Farm estará ahí las 24 horas si los necesito. 24 horas. Ay. 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 Tan linda como siempre. Ay, qué bien, 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 hijita. Pasa. Ah. Amor, como un buen vecino, State Farm está ahí. Llama para obtener una cotización hoy. Hey, it's me, your skin. Some cleansers get us clean, but take my moisture. I'm craving a balanced clean with CeraVe. CeraVe cleansers, developed with dermatologists, help me maintain my moisture balance. With hyaluronic acid, known to attract moisture, plus three essential ceramides to help restore my natural barrier. With CeraVe, cleansing can be about giving, not just taking. So we can be a healthy feeling clean. CeraVe Clean. CeraVe cleansers, from the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. Tigers have an eight-point lead. Defense has been the theme for this game for Amanda Butler's team. Michaela Elmore showing scholarly presence on that end. Yeah, very intelligent play here. Not to commit the foul going straight up. Good defensive slides right there. Got the ball going the other way with it because of that good defensive play. Jada McNabb unable to go inside on Elmore. We told you she graduates in roughly 48 hours here in Little John. Well, the sheet very good from a basketball standpoint here on a Tuesday. Well, she's a very important cog of this uh, women's basketball team here at Clemson because she's their leading rebounder. I always said there's two players. I don't know their names, but there's two players that's going to start for me every year, the best rebounder and the best defender. And that is... 
been something she's been doing well. Valentine forcing the steal. Whitehorn with the finish. Back out to a double figure advantage. Applying that full court pressure has really helped change the momentum of this game going back to the opening quarter. From the outside, long try. Won't go down for Devon, but an offensive rebound. Sometimes those long rebounds, uh, you just can't get those, but uh, I like the effort of Clemson here in this defense on the closeout there. Didn't quite get there in time, Naya. Smith now has eight. She's two for four beyond the arc as the shot clock was winding down. Air Force some full court pressure. Chris Gobrick says that's usually what she'll do. She'll really try to pressure on defense. They go with a trap on Valentine, hung up in a heady play by the junior college transfer with this Clemson team. We saw defense again creating offense just moments ago for the Clemson team, Valentine this time. Yep, great job right there on the double team coming out of the uh, timeout and created uh, the layup there for Ruby Whitehorn, but uh, Clemson needs more of that. They have got to do a good job. I love the way they trap. Mattiot to inbound. Whitehorn. Pass Britt and finishing at the bucket. Give her half a dozen. Britt went for the steal there. That was a good aggressive pass on that inbounds pass because it got there in a hurry. That's what you want. Britt. Valentine defends. You can tell they're trying to get it to Perry, and they've been able to stifle her so far as the Clemson defense. So Cortez will step out beyond the arc. Out of bounds it goes. Falcons just 4 of 14. They'd really tried to improve on that. We noted they came in at 27% on threes. The daily schedule of an Air Force cadet is such that there's not really a whole lot of time beyond the normal practices to get in the gym and do some shooting, but... They've tried to pick that up now as the academic year has been adjusted more to allow for some practice. Yeah, their day starts at 6.15 every day, Pete. So, uh, and that's not for basketball work. That's, no. That's to do things to get ready to defend our country. So right. Certainly a salute to them. So much respect. Attended. Yeah. Valentine inbound. Perry went for the steal. Valentine looking to feed inside to Freeman. Tigers giving it up. That 16 turnovers in the opening half. Perry. And Whitehorn pulls it down. Clemson now plus six in rebounds, but again, another turnover. That time coming away with it was McNabb. Well, you know Coach Butler just wringing her hands over there. I mean, what can you do? McMillan. Tigers look like they're in a zone and a travel will be called. Yeah, they're playing that 2 3 zone, Pete. And... McNabb giving it up. Air Force now turning it over for a 12th time. Air Force will be in that 2 2 1. We used to call it a containment press, although they did trap aggressively Nye Valentine over here and got a turnover. Roush gives the Tigers another point guard on the floor. Switched to three earlier, which had to make her feel good because she thinks she can help Clemson from that standpoint too. Air Force extends the defense. Harris penetrating on Perry. And the rebound comes down to Britt, the former Spring Valley Viking, but Perry couldn't handle it. Harris will wait for the troops. I questioned Harris's shot selection on that last time down the floor, Pete. Perry, the personal. That'll be her second. Three on the Falcons in the quarter. With just under one and a half to go, Chris Gobrek's team had an early 6-0 advantage, but Clemson taking control with a 12-0 run. Kloos step through. 
Went right around the defender O'Halloran. I was about in, as impressed with that catch because uh, she did a great job protecting that passing lane. There's Amari Robinson with a good defensive play. Forcing the turnover, Roush. Hell ball, no, taken away. And let's see. Britt getting in there with scrappy defense. And it'll be Air Force ball. So as we wind down here in quarter number two, Tigers closing in on a 20 turnover opening half. Looked like that was a hell ball situation right there, but wasn't called. Taylor Britt, now O'Halloran. Britt will try for three. Robinson pulling down her fifth rebound in the opening half to go with eight points. Well on her way to a double-double here. In the first 20 minutes. Cluse off the handoff on the drive. Robinson, offensive glass and the putback. And a 10-point opening half for the Tigers senior. Under 30 seconds to go. Shot clock turned off. We use the term nose for the basketball. She seems to have a nose for the basketball. Looks like Inyang got a hand on the shot attempt. Clemson will play for final points here in the opening half of action. Harris out high driving on Smith. Inyang had it knocked away by Britt. And that's how half number one will come to an end. Ooh, nice effort by Britt. Not sure she would have gotten it off in time, but Clemson's lead will be 13 here at the half. Six points in the half for Elmore. It's also active, as you saw, on the defensive end. Pulled down a rebound. So here we go, third quarter. Falcons team trying to extend their three-game winning streak. But an early turnover. Stepped out, out of bounds. bounds. Jada McNabb. So we gave you our keys to the game off the top of the telecast. Let's revisit those, Jim. And I think so far it's gone reasonably well from Clemson's standpoint. Yeah, without a doubt. Clemson uh, certainly is dominating uh, the paint. Uh, Ruby Whitehorn getting behind the defense. Yep. Scoring, uh, dominating the paint, scoring 22 in the paint to Air Force's four, as you might expect. And then Air Force has got to make some threes, and they need to make more if they're going to get in this basketball game. Falcons went through a long scoring drought in the opening quarter after they built a 6-0 advantage. The Columbia native Britt couldn't get it to go. Long rebound by Smith. Madison Smith hung up defensively. Gets it on the wing. McMillan, just a 21% three-point shooter, but she strikes there. Her first points in the game. Whitehorn has eight so far. Robinson leads the Tigers with 10. Here's Harris. Day Harris is capable of that. She uh, certainly leads the team in assists and doing a good job running the show, but uh, very important that she knocks down those open threes. And Harris will get it back on the held ball. Clemson four of seven beyond the arc in this game. Against Georgia State, they were 35% on three-pointers. But in that game also, the Panthers shot 41% on threes. And Clemson's done a nice job limiting the long-range jumpers for Air Force. Harris, step for step with her was Perry. And nearly coming up with a turnover. Got to meet the pass, Michaela. Harris was a little off balance when she threw that thing. Didn't have much zip on it. But Michaela's got to step up there and shorten that passing distance. Elmore off the inbound. Harris, head of steam, goes right past Perry. That's her game right there. She is really, really good at putting the ball on the floor and getting to the, getting to the rim. Five straight points for Harris. Give her seven in the game. Back in that 2-3 zone here. Perry good. scoreless so far. Great block there from Kayla Elmore. Harris again trying to break down Perry. Forcing it. Wins the rebound battle. Great hustle. Great hustle. Hustle makes it happen, Pete. 
Tigers foul rebounded the Falcons by nine. Not that time for Harris. Good save by Robinson. Forcing to beat the shot clock. Cluse and Elmore couldn't handle it. Day Harris on the attack here in the third quarter. I love the fact, look how down low she is, close to the floor, protecting that dribble. Simpson with a little 1-3-1 one, one, one press, maybe, or 1-2-2. Two, two. 16th turnover for the Falcons. Chris Kobrecht does not like how this thing is unfolding for her team. Down by 13 at the break, now trailing by 17 in the third. Estaremos ahí por si le pasa algo a tu auto en este día especial. Mamá, para eso tengo State Farm. Es que es peligroso manejar en carretera. Si pasa algo, le mando un texto a mi agente. Tranquilos. State Farm estará ahí las 24 horas si los necesito. 24 horas. Ay, ay. Amor, como un buen vecino, State Farm está ahí. Llama para obtener una cotización hoy. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. I'll take that. Yo, buddies, get that box. Almost showtime, my lord. Oh, no. Bye, bye, guys. Come on, let's go. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. There he is, buddies. Get him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that box is for everybody. Oh. Coming to you from Frost Way with a buddy and a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. Hey, it's me, your skin. I want to feel extra clean, but will it leave me tight or stripped? I'm craving a balanced cleanse with CeraVe. CeraVe Foaming Cleanser, developed with dermatologists, cleanses and removes excess oil. With niacinamide known to keep me calm and three essential ceramides, CeraVe prevents disruption of my natural barrier for a cleanse that gives, not just takes. So we're refreshingly clean. CeraVe Clean. CeraVe Foaming Cleanser from the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. There are trucks, then there's the truck, GMC Sierra. Available with the V8 engine. The Super Cruise hands-free driving experience. And of course, the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. Not just any truck. The truck. Our founder once said, don't let the day pass without any action. We can lead more meaningful and constructive lives. In the pursuit of activities that will ensure a better today than yesterday, a better tomorrow than today. To honor his vision and make a positive impact, we're committed to creating a greener, more equitable future for everyone. Learn about our commitment to the next generation. Tigers can just about put five on the floor who've reached a thousand points in their respective careers. In this case, four Tigers, led by Amari Robinson, closing in on 1,600. Day Harris, Mackenzie Kramer, of course, did a lot of that damage at her previous stop, Lehigh, for Harris at Pitt. And Naya Valentine, as a Tiger this year, she was just under a thousand when she got to the program and exceeded that mark so far on the season. Clemson in good company among the Active 1,000-point scorers, only Mississippi State has more. Valentine did uh, her damage at Shelton State Community College in Alabama in the, as a junior college All-American. The message from Chris Gobrecht in that timeout to her Air Force team, turn up the defense. You see the pressure as Perry went for the steal on Harris. Robinson able to get by McMillan right down the lane, and she'll head back to the line. That was a great job once again protecting the passing lane. Uh, by Maury Robinson. The pass was thrown away from the defender and she went straight to the hoop. Watch her use her body right here. Holding off McMillan and going to the hoop. I told you, in the years she's been in the Clemson program, her mom was a fine player at Providence. Her dad played at Notre Dame. Her dad was a very notable free throw shooter among his talents with Digger Phelps' team back in the late 80s, early 90s. She's in the low 80s from the line this season. Her dad had a season where he shot 87%. It's 
pretty stout. We have a noted statistician who settled in alongside of us today who was able to look that up with a Notre Dame emphasis on his skill set <laughs> in terms of quick recall and deft ability to crunch such numbers. And now Amari Robinson, after benefiting from a foul, will commit one. And impressively, and there you see the statistician uh, guru right there. If you don't know him by face, you know him by name. Last name Beret, shaken, not stirred. Anyway, <laughs> that's the first foul in the game committed by a Clemson player, and it goes on Amari Robinson. Clemson went the entire first half without committing a personal foul while playing pretty scrappy defense. Without a doubt, that 2-3 zone, you can do that. Boy, that was a must for Air Force to get Perry, their leading scorer, going. Her first field goal, she's now one of four beyond the arc. Yeah, we mentioned earlier she's coming off a game when she had 27 and one for Robinson. What a nice spin move down low. Without a doubt. Once again, going to that left hand, she's very, very good with either hand. Tigers working it on both ends of the court. And a good find by Michaela Elmore as well, Jim. Yep, no doubt. Good pass away from the defense again. Back to the line, Robinson unable to convert her first miss from the free throw line in five attempts. So she holds at 14 points to lead all scores. Tigers lead remains 18. Tigers pressure at the point of the ball on this, uh, in this two, three zone is much better than what it was against Georgia State. Perry got a three moments ago. Elmore that time knocked it away. Taylor's having a pretty good game in all aspects. Came in with four block shots on the season. Harris got caught in the air looking for Robinson and said Whitehorn. Harris will back it out. Plenty of time in the shot clock. Around a screen from Robinson. Right pass O'Halloran. That's good leadership right there by Harris. Seeing that we were a little discombobulated, backs out, gets everybody set, and finds that open driving lane. Seven of her nine points here in the third quarter. Perry. Back to McMillan. Shot clock under 10. Perry off one foot. That's your first two-point field goal. Give her five, and it's back to an 18-point deficit. Native of Florida with a nice little teardrop. Harris on the kick. Whitehorn. She's in double figures. 11 of the game, first made three for Ruby Whitehorn, the sophomore out of Detroit. Shot fake, the forgotten fundamental. Freshman on the under end, O'Halloran, catch and shoot won't go. Whitehorn, another rebound. She did indeed. But the turnover, the first in the third quarter for the Tigers, their 20th of the game. Tigers getting it done on both ends. Some defense, some offense. Michaela Elmore. She's been in the middle of a lot of it today. Day Harris having a good third quarter as the Tigers are rolling. The holidays on Dale's farm weren't very... festive. Until he saved big on a Bluetooth speaker with Amazon's last minute... Estaremos ahí por si le pasa algo a tu auto en este día especial. Mamá, para eso tengo State Farm. Es que es peligroso manejar en carretera. Si pasa algo, le mando un texto a mi agente. Tranquilos. State Farm estará ahí las 24 horas si los necesito. 24 horas. Ay, ay. Está linda como siempre. Ay, qué bien, 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 hijita. Amor, como un buen vecino, State Farm está ahí. Llama para obtener una cotización hoy. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, buddies, get that box. Almost showtime, my lord. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Come on, let's go. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. There he is, buddies. Get him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that box is for everybody. <laughs> There's a little McNugget in everyone. That's true. Coming to you from Frost Way with a buddy and a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Hey, it's me, your skin. This acne has me craving a maximum strength cleanse, but will it cause more discomfort? New CeraVe Acne Cream Wash, developed with dermatologists, is powered with maximum strength 10% benzoyl peroxide to treat acne. CeraVe with three essential ceramides lets us cleanse without disrupting my natural barrier so we can treat our face and body acne and finally feel comfortable. New CeraVe Acne Cream Wash from the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. Our founder once said, don't let the day pass without any action. We can lead more meaningful and constructive lives through the pursuit of activities that will ensure a better today than yesterday, a better tomorrow than today. To honor his vision and make a positive impact, we're committed to creating a greener, more equitable future for everyone. Learn about our commitment to the next generation. Ruby Whitehorn, we just saw her get that three. She's having the kind of game that, frankly, is expected of her in her sophomore season. No doubt about it. Uh, you know, in the game Saturday against uh, Georgia State, there was only one player in double figures. That was Amari Robinson. They need Ruby Whitehorn because she's such a good athlete. Got that nice uh, runner in the lane, good elevation on their jump shots. And then when she's knocking down that three, she's a hard stop. First five-star to come to this Clemson program a year ago when she averaged about a dozen a game. 11 so far today on five of seven shooting. She's also pulled down four rebounds. Added a couple of assists, but a fantastic player out of a great basketball area. Detroit, Michigan. Clemson lead 21 points. They're up by 13 at the break. This is their largest advantage. Going's been tough for Madison Smith at Air Force on the offensive end. They came in averaging about 64 a game, but as you can see, well below that pace. Britt hung up on the wing, so she'll fire. And Robinson pulls down the board. She had seven rebounds in the loss the other day against Georgia State. That's her seventh this afternoon. Quick passing, Whitehorn from the right wing this time. Gets her own rebound, and she'll head to the line. Got hit right across the top of the head on that rebound. Uh, put back. Get to the free throw line. That's that's a good plus right there. Anytime you can get to that free throw line, you got a great chance of scoring with the clock stop. First player for the Tigers, not named Amari Robinson, to try free throws. Low foul game. Nine on Air Force, just one on Clemson, and that came earlier in this quarter as Whitehorn, who Came into the ball game at 59%. Now has 12. And she'll hold there. Look at Freeman battling for the rebound. The foul will be called. They'll get Alexis Cortez, the freshman out of Allen, Texas. Hey, Cortez and McNabb are pretty physical players to be no taller than they are. They do a good job banging around in there. Fourth on Air Force. Look at that. Catch and shoot while in the air. Whitehorn. That's Pretty a, play on the inbound. That's that elevation we were talking about, Pete. Set play for her. Robinson and Whitehorn now. 14 points apiece. Perry. Her first points in the game have come in this quarter. Smith thought about it. Perry going past the defender, Kramer. Kramer comes away with it. She thought about a three. Whitehorn will fire. And that time, the rebound battle won by McNabb, who leads them on the glass at over six a game. That's two straight possessions that Whitehorn has settled for the three. Uh, much too early in the shot clock, in my opinion. Devon unable to get the three attempt to go. Just six of 22 beyond the arc for Air Force. And that's... Something they'll be the first to tell you has to approve as they get ready for their Mountain West Conference play. Kramer from the left wing. Freeman wins the rebound battle. Kramer again. Not that time. Whitehorn inside. Foul will be called. It'll go against McNabb. Whitehorn and, uh, Whitehorn and Freeman were doing a great job in there using their bodies to create that uh, rebounding position. Tigers a 10th rebound on the offensive glass in the game. 
And 31 to 15 is the rebound difference in this game. So Clemson plus 16. Whitehorn can't get the bounce. So she holds at 15 points to lead all scorers. And it goes back over to the Falcons. Whitehorn will get a breather, having one of her better games so far this year. She managed just four points against Georgia State and just eight against Duke prior to that. With Clemson, very few games in the past couple of weeks because of finals and just the way the schedule worked out. Already with an ACC win in the bank in that home triumph against Duke a couple of weeks ago. Pass toward the wing, Matty Ott with the steal. On the run, ahead to Kramer. Good finish, and she'll head to the line. Nice bounce pass feed uh, from Matty Ott to Mackenzie Kramer, and a good finish as you said, Pete. Good anticipation by Maddie on that steal there. Kramer's first points of the day, known as a three-point shooter, but getting it on the layup. Free throw line, and she's a perfect 14 out of 14 since arriving here with the Tigers. They break the pressure. Boy, nearly a travel by McNabb. Setting it up, Jordan Devon, freshman from the state of Texas. Quick move and a pull-up Perry. No. Battle for the rebound. Adams last to touch it for Air Force. So we mentioned the Tigers already with an ACC win. Still a non-conference game remaining. We'll have it for you Friday at 2 p.m. right where you're watching against the Bucks of ETSU who had a really mammoth turnaround season Last year, they won 25 games. They will be a tough out. And you saw the return to ACC play later this month in Chapel Hill against North Carolina. New Year's Eve. Ott on the feed from Valentine. Matty Ott's got to feel good for her. 37% beyond the arc entering. And that was her first attempt of any kind this afternoon. The lead grows to 59-28. Coming up on a minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Perry will try it from the left wing. I love the energy of this defense. They made that three there, but they've been closing out very well, giving a really good effort on the defensive end. Alani Perry with eight points. Tigers break the pressure. Ott, hesitation. Scrap for the rebound. Freeman, Valentine. Smith. Comes away with it. I love Amani Freeman's way she moves after that offensive rebound. Slides so smoothly. Try from the wing and a second straight three made by the Falcons. This time Jordan Devon, who was just one of four beyond the arc coming into the game. Back to a 25 point lead for Clemson. Coming up on half a minute to play in quarter number three. In Yang. Looks for the cutter. Freeman turns it over. Tigers giving it up for just the second time in the quarter, but 21st time today. Turnaround attempt to Vaughn. She'll go to the line. In Yang committing her first personal. And one of the few called against Clemson so far today. Cut her on the wrist, look like, yep. Just a second personal foul against a Clemson player in the game. <laughs> okay. Free throw for Jordan Devon from Little Elm, Texas. And what says Texas more than her high school? She went to Lone Star High. They got four Texans on this Air Force team. Free throws have been rare for her. She was one of two coming in, freshman. Freeman, now Valentine, 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Valentine driving on Perry. Kramer with five to go. No look, Freeman can't get it to go. And our third quarter comes to an end. 
Tigers extending a 13-point lead at the break. Made their presence felt over the first couple of months of the season. Good additions. I think Freeman will be a very important player once ACC action heats up in terms of her inside presence on both ends of the floor. I think you're right, Pete. And a little runner, Devon, had the spin dribble. And the freshman with the bucket. And give her nine in the game. She leads the Air Force team. That's one of the few times they've gotten inside that 2-3 zone. Their points in the paint are very sparse today. Roush on the handoff from Inyang. Now gets the screen. On the wing, Ott tries for another three. Thought she had it. Inyang with a battle, and it's won by Taylor Britt. Quickly ahead on the run, McMillan, but the pass too strong. Good idea, but Britt just couldn't reach there. Well, a really nice move by Jordan Devon moments ago. It really was. Once again, very few times, I believe that's the sixth point in the paint uh, that Air Force has gotten in this game. Clemson's done a great job in their 2-3 zone, limiting uh, their opportunities to get to the basket. Tigers have outscored the Falcons 34-6 to on points in paint. Roush running things out high. Devon, she's got a home game coming up, if you will. She's from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and their next contest on this road swing is over at SMU. Hot drives. Adams, the rebound. Britt with the ball. This was her homecoming game, the Columbia native. From the outside, not that time for Devon. Adams, the rebound, and she's fouled. Defensive transition lacking a little there. They did not get out there, had a wide open three look in transition. Got the matchup quicker. Person on Inyang, first Tiger with multiple fouls. Just the third called against it. Chris Gobrek's team here playing at Clemson, then it's off to Dallas. As best we can tell, they're the only Mountain West team, men's or women's, that'll play in all five time zones this year where you can find a Division I team from Hawaii all the way to the Eastern Seaboard. And I would challenge you to find too many nationally in basketball. Look at the step through by Perry, but you can't finish, who will do just that. Of course, they played in a tournament in Hawaii. Many years ago, Louisiana Tech came here and played football when they were in the old whack. Harris can't get it to go. McMillan battles with Freeman. And they were playing in five time zones as a football team that year. Of course, the key is if you play games at Hawaii, Whitehorn drives and finishes. Good day continues for the sophomore. 17 in the contest. Of course, Alaska has the time zone, but they only have D2 schools there. Right. Clemson teams have played teams from Puerto Rico in tournaments. That's in the Atlantic time zone. But again, those are not Division I teams. So five eligible D1 time zones. And I don't think they have a university or college in Greenland, do they? As of now, not an NCAA <laughs> member that we know of. Devon quickly around Harris, forcing it, gets it a go. Pretty move. 11 for the freshman. She had just two in their win against Weber State. She long ago established her career high in her freshman campaign. She had scored four in their win against Northern Colorado a couple of games back. And now the foul will be called on Britt. She's got some quickness, Pete, that's for sure. Taylor Britt was on a 5A state championship team at Spring Valley in Columbia. It was back in 2018. She actually went from Spring Valley to the Air Force Prep and then to the Academy. Freeman on the bullet pass from Elmore. Can't get it to bounce, and there'll be a foul on the floor. Bodies Boy. everywhere. Nasty spill by Clouse and yeah. Elmore. And so Britt went from Spring Valley out to the Air Force Prep. So many athletes have gone on to play in college sports and a variety of sports from Air Force Prep. And right there in Colorado Springs now, continuing her career, now a senior. And she has been a vital part of Chris Gobrek's team. But this game was scheduled for the reason to get her back close to home. Great high-low action. Another assist 
Elmore, that time the finish by Freeman. That's really good basketball. The center of the basketball by Ruby Whitehorn with the dribble, then throw back, and then feed the post with a great pass. Tigers lead back out to 23. Clemson's led by as many as 31. Devon. Another big three for the freshman. She has 14. Harris kicks. Whitehorn fires. Perry the rebound. Falcons push the pace. Adams denied by Harris. Good job defense. getting back. And Devon's foot was out of bounds. But good ball movement continues for this Tiger team. Yeah, without a doubt. She centers the basketball right there. There's the throwback and a really good feed by Elmore down to Amani Freeman with the left-hand finish. That's good basketball. Valentine. Defended by Devon. Good ball reversal. Not a good decision, Ruby. Turnover. Tigers really had cleaned that up. They had just 12 turnovers in their win against Duke a couple of ball games ago. Had nearly 20 in the opening half today. Perry and Valentine able to come away with it. Dogged by a couple of Falcons, and the personal will be called against Milani Perry. That'll be her third. Third team foul for Air Force. Perry and the Falcons went 13 and 18 last year. They were 8 and 10 in the Mountain West. A league that includes some very solid women's programs. Air Force, the second Mountain West Conference school to play in this building this year. The Boise State men, of course, went at it against the Tiger men back in November. And they had a pretty good basketball team coming in here. Yeah, there will be an NCAA attorney team again, or at least in the conversation. With some of the firepower they returned from their team that went to the big dance last year. Changing hands in the air and finishing. Cluse with the bucket. She's got six. That's her athleticism on display right there, Pete. Five to go in our fourth quarter. Tigers comfortably in front. McMillan swings it to O'Halloran. Freshman on the run. Elmore the rebound. And Valentine fouled on the drive. Maddie Cluse. One of the Tigers scorers, averaging better than eight a game. Getting it done here in the fourth quarter. Tigers ringing in holiday good cheer with a big lead. Estaremos ahí por si le pasa algo a tu auto en este día especial. Mamá, para eso tengo State Farm. Es que es peligroso manejar en carretera. Si pasa algo, le mando un texto a mi agente. Tranquilos. State Farm estará ahí las 24 horas si los necesito. 24 horas. Ay. Ay. Amor, como un buen vecino, State Farm está ahí. Llama para obtener una cotización hoy. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. I'll take that. Yo, buddies, get that box. Almost showtime, I know. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Come on, let's go. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. Here he is, buddies. Get him. Hey, buddy. That box is for everybody. There's a little bit. Coming to you from Frost Way, with a buddy and a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. So hear the drums drumming, all your friends humming. Yeah, it's a good time coming. Everything you want it, it's right here, y'all. Everything you need it, it's right here. Jumping, yeah, it's a good time coming. 
students. Students of any age, from anywhere. Students in a new kind of classroom. Using our technology to power different ways of learning. Harnessing AI to plant new beginnings. So when minds grow, opportunities follow. And 14 more points, eight more rebounds today, continuing to climb a very impressive list in Clemson history led by the late great Barbara Kennedy Dixon. Yeah, she's uh, already moved up to third in points there. Amari's just, she's been consistent. We, we call her Miss Consistency. Since she's been here as a freshman, and this is her fifth season now, she has uh, done remarkable work on the offensive end, for sure. And Barbara Kennedy Dixon, her numbers, man, don't get me started. It's a, the biggest, she's the greatest player in women's, in women's basketball history, not to be in the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Devon looking to extend a career day. Adams flying in for the rebound. And a foul is called. And of course, you have to keep in mind, Barbara Kennedy Dixon, you saw when she played for the Tigers back there late 70s. And no three-point line, no shot clock back then. Just when you, she was so ahead of her time in terms of just her skill and the way she handled the basketball on the floor compared to the, the women's player of that day, in my opinion, from watching all the, the film from back in the day. Yeah, you think of her as being a good inside player, which she was, but she wasn't that big. She was about 5'11", I guess. 5'10", wow. 5'11", but she had the smoothest jump shot, shot it very well off the dribble, and like you said, did not have the three-point shot. It's funny. She would be out here in practice when she was an assistant coach. She had long fingernails, and she said that sound of those fingernails leaving the basketball, she knew it was going in. <laughs> I've not heard that before. <laughs> Adams knocking it away. Devon, and then off the hands of Smith. Give Michaela Elmore credit for forcing that. Barbara was an excellent free throw shooter. And like you said, didn't have the three-point line, but she could shoot it from out there as well and just used her body so very well inside. And as good a player as she was, well, at one time she was the leading scorer and still is. At one time she was the leading scorer and leading rebounder. But I think uh, maybe a player from Virginia Tech might be ahead of her in rebounding, although she played five seasons to get it and Barbara only played four. Yeah, in terms of the ACC, the scoring numbers so impressive. Smith out on the wing, McMillan. Devon. Top 15 player out of the Dallas-Fort Worth area and the freshman having a career day. Goes to the left wing. McMillan on the runner. Elmore flies in for the board. Valentine thought about it. Coming up on three to play in our fourth quarter. Knocked away by Smith. Devon. Roush back to defend. Not a bad idea. Smith tries to clean up. Out of bounds. It stays in the Falcons' end. Well, they've got to rely on freshmen to come in and make an impact. Their coach says, frankly, some of them have played beyond their years, and we're seeing that out of Jordan Devon today. Right. With her 16 points, her first not only career high, but her first double-figure game. Adams tried to kick it on the wing. Roush the steal. But she lost it. Here's Devon. And Yang coming down with it for Clemson. Trying to get the ball up the floor for a quick three there by Mackenzie Kramer. And I think we give Mackenzie Kramer the green light anytime she's got an open look out there. She needs to take it. Some shooters are given that luxury. She's one of the thousand point scorers and was a better than 40% shooter at her previous stop, Lehigh, when it comes to three point range. Empty possession for the Tigers. There have been few of those in the second half. O'Halloran, another freshman for Air Force, having a good scoring day. Give her 11. She's three of six beyond the arc. She had a 24-point game at Army earlier in the year. Coming into this game, McKenzie shooting 42.9%, and she from three-point range, and uh, that's pretty stout. Roush hit a three earlier, now one in the second half. So Danielle Roush, couple of three-pointers. 
six in the game. The lead back to 20. Under one and a half to go. Tigers about to get a seventh one on the year. Air Force will have a three game winning streak snapped as Smith not letting the Falcons go quietly. Falcons with a loss fall to seven and five and one and two on the road this season. Madison Smith's a pretty solid player, Pete. Very impressed with her game today. And she joins two others in double figures, now has 11. Plays a game hard on both ends. Honorable mention, all Mountain West Conference a year ago. Shot clock at five, hot. Might have got away with a double dribble there. And it comes off to Adams. Adams will really help them. Trying to get into game shape. Again, her first game action on the season. 12 games into their campaign. O'Halloran, quick catch and shoot. That's a weapon. Ooh, that what a is. quick release. A fourth made three in the game for the native of Lake Oswego, Oregon. You been there? I cannot say. I've only been to the state of Oregon <laughs> once, and it wasn't for very long. It's the part of the state I was in, uh, way over in the eastern part. When Clemson was out at the bowl game in Idaho, and we drove over there just to have dinner to say we'd been in the state of Oregon. So it <laughs> wasn't really a whole lot to see. Kramer inside of 10 seconds, nice. scooping a score. Give her five. Final seconds going to wind down. Tigers will have the win. O'Halloran tries to add on late and a 70 to 54 triumph for Amanda Butler's team. They get back in the win column. They improved to seven and five on the season. Air Force falling to a seven and five mark and the Tigers have now won six of their seven